Okay, let's try to sharpen a uh, razor with a uh, uh, artichoke with stone. I'm gonna use a uh, sharpen glass two thousand and six thousand HC this time. If we need a uh, uh, set debris or removing a large chip on the blade. Maybe I use a one one thousand two, but uh, this time only two thousand and uh, six thousand I use. Okay, uh, first uh, the laser should be when the uh, with some surface must be flat. And the laser, when we put the laser on the flat surface, the attaching all the way uh, uh, point to the heel, and also the uh, the shoulder is all set, and then uh, not like a uh, space in between somewhere gotta be uh, all set on the uh, whetstone otherwise it cannot sharp uh, accurately so line up uh, whetstone with a pencil and make it wet a little bit and then lapping the whetstone with a diamond, diamond lapping stone. We can also use a, a lower grade, maybe 500 or 220 with stone to lapping. Uh, this part is a little bit uh, concave, that's why it still remain. but the most part is gone, but a little bit still concave, so sharpen, lapping a little bit more. Now look like almost all gone, so it's time to sharpen. So we can use uh, uh, lap as lapping stone like 220, 500, 1000, anything lower than 2000. Lower, lower, lower grit is uh, faster uh, to lapping, but uh, uh, it's a deeper scratch on it. So it's flat now, and uh, this is a 2000. Just start gently, try to get the, some slurry. Must be attached, attach the shoulder all the way, and uh, point to the heel. We can sharpen uh, right like this too, but uh, 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 any kind of way we can zigzag or any kind of way we can we can sharpen. But uh, if we try to sharpen far to the bread edge side. Uh, bridge edge is sh sharper more, but uh, if we try to sharpen other way, like this, then uh, shoulder wear more. So uh, 
if we don't want to uh, wear shoulder more then uh, what to the bread edge side is better way to sharpen and then the other way When we check the magnified glass or, or uh, pocket uh, microscope to check the all the way to bread edge is uh, sh scratch mark from the 2000 whetstone, the both side, then it's done. And then no chip on the bread edge. We have to check it out. And then go up to the next stage, 6000. Uh, the Japanese, Japanese laser is the same thing. Um, sharpen like this. And I also make sure that uh, it's all set, the bread, uh, point to the hill, and then try to sharpen stable. This is six thousand HC. Uh, it's uh, there's a uh, two different kind of the uh, six thousand. The white one is uh, regular one, and the six thousand HC is little bit, little bit more elasticity. So it's ha hard to wear like other Shapton Whetstone, but a uh, little little bit more uh, flexibility. The same thing, the, just mark it, you have to remove it. Little bit remain, but almost gone. And then sometimes, if corner is sharp, you have to remove the corners. Final sharpening is very sensitive, so we have to remove the all lower grid particle. Wash hand well, wash the uh, western well too, and also the laser. Then we shouldn't touch anywhere else um, to contaminate. Uh, uh, larger size of uh, particles it's it's about same thing with a uh, two two thousand just keep doing that beginning a little bit uh, more pressure and uh, uh, until the end less pressure and then shorter distance uh, try to sharpen uh, accurate more
at the end uh, less pressure sharpen gently just sharpen with a like razor weight After, uh, after the uh, sharpening, lapping one more time to make sure to get the flat surface and then wash away the old bloody and then gently move uh, like vibration to remove the uh, bar, tiny bar on it. two three times that's it and then uh, try to get the hair uh, the bottom side is the top and then try slice the hair and then if it's easy to slice it probably it's uh, ready to sh uh, shave if hair is not slice well or uh, might be some kind of problem so if we should check with the uh, uh, bread edge uh, microscope that's all about it